Welcome back to another Rocket Lab Saturday with me, Stock Track Girl, and we are going to go over the latest and greatest news for Rocket Lab, as well as the stock price movements and some upcoming catalysts. So be sure to stay tuned and join me on this exclusive journey into Rocket Lab. Wow, what an epic moment, a historic moment that was just accomplished by Rocket Lab with the helicopter catch. I don't know how many of you all were watching it, but I sure was watching it on my big screen TV, just like I said I would. And I have got to say that my heart was racing. I was on the edge of my seat. And I've got to give it to the pilots because the visibility looked pretty awful. I mean, I've seen some previous videos of their helicopter capture attempts where everything just looked perfect. You know, blue skies, blue water, everything was fantastic. And it showed it in the demo where they come in and they catch it and they carry it back off to the barge. However, I really think that, you know, the weather just wasn't as perfect as it could be. And, you know, which is good for a real life scenario and not just simulation is to do it in weather that's not you know 100 percent sunny clear skies and ideal this helicopter pilot was doing this with a lot of gray cloud cover and from the looks of it it looked quite difficult as far as uh, visibility goes so the fact that he was able to still catch it while he may not have been able to hold on to it the whole capturing it was pretty precise um, and I was very impressed with the pilot's ability to still capture the booster regardless of the, the lesser visibility compared to, you know, the simulations and the prior demonstrations that they did do as in, in their exercises. So for me, was this a total success? I would say for their first go, it was not bad at all. They did an excellent job. They did do a capture. Um, while it was a catch and release, they still went fishing. They still got it and they still proved that it can be done. It can be caught and that's the main thing. I think that once they get their data, the pilot, you know, gets the data, they talk over it all, they go over all everything. I think that it will get better in the future. I do wonder when the next capture is going to be. I am looking forward to a second attempt to see if they can actually hold it on the second time. With that being said, Congratulations to the Rocket Lab and the Rocket Lab team. I think you all are doing fantastic and that is not an easy thing to do. So again, congratulations on going after it and never giving up. Not to take away focus from the amazing helicopter capture, but Rocket Lab did accomplish putting into orbit the most satellites at one time. 34 satellites were carried into orbit by Rocket Lab's There and Back Again mission, all for the companies of Alba Orbital, Asterix Astronautics, Aurora Propulsion Technologies, eSpace, Spaceflight Inc. and Unseen Labs. And that mission brings the total number of satellites launched by Rocket Lab to a whopping 146 satellites, which is an amazing feat for Rocket Lab as they continue to grow the amount of satellites that they have successfully deployed. Here we go, let's talk about the Lunar Capstone mission. This is what everybody now has their eyes on, and I know it is going to go as smooth as butter because this is not as complex, while it is complex, you know, this isn't a helicopter catching it, but this is going way out. This is going all the way to the moon. So this is, this is a far cry out there from all their other launches 
and we have got to see this new launch. This is just the start of interplanetary launches because coming up, uh, I believe in 2024, they're going to be going to Venus. So this is just the start of them basically launching interplanetary and be able to explore deeper into space. So I'm really excited about this. And this will be coming up at the end of May, the end of this month. So be sure to stay tuned as I deliver more on this upcoming mission in future Rocket Lab videos. Now I know what some of you are thinking, the booster isn't the only thing that the helicopter dropped. Look at the stock price. What a doozy. I mean, that just, it just plummeted. But you know what? I had a feeling it was gonna do that. Our last Rocket Lab video, when we were looking at that stock chart, we saw that that line of support that we had held since the beginning of this year in January, we had a beautiful solid line of support. And that kind of like went slightly under that support line and guess what? It plummeted. I, I was hoping it would retrace and get back to that support, but it didn't. Um, it just plummeted. I think what's going on a lot is, is pressure from the market, not necessarily Rocket Lab as a company, but we also have this pressure in the overall market that is pushing down all these stocks. And, you know, there's a lot of stocks that are actually just plummeting right now. So to me, this is not something that concerns me in regards to Rocket Lab as a company. This is something that, you know, concerns me overall as a whole market. And it, basically, I would say that this should be very concerning for you if you are a short term trader. But if you have a longer term outlook or if you are very diversified and, you know, you are risk averse, then this should be okay for you. It just all depends on, you know, what your trajectory is as far as length of time that you need to invest, as far as your diversification of your assets. But then again, even right now, if you're diversified, a lot of the market is down. So, you know, you're probably down in a lot of other areas as well. Even big names like Apple and Amazon have dropped. But keep in mind that most millionaires, okay, most of the wealth is created during recessions. I know, I know. You, a lot of you are thinking, what, what does she mean by that? But what I'm saying is, if you take advantage of the fire sale, when everything goes back to regular pricing, you bought it on sale. So I'm not necessarily saying right now is the best time to just go out and, and you know purchase everything in the stock market, but now is a good time to keep your eyes open and be ready to pounce and take advantage of you know the fire sale that's going on. And do I know how long this fire sale is going to go on? There could be even more of a fire sale. It could drop even more. I mean, who knows? We could we could mimic 1929. Uh, so if, if you hold some chips and you have some dry powder to throw into the keg when everything drops, you're going to be sitting pretty tight when the market finally does recover and it does go back up. The question is, do you have the mindset for that and do you have the time for that? It depends on your age as well. It depends on when you're planning to retire. It depends on what you're willing to risk. So a lot of factors go into play. So keep that in mind when purchasing stock. I personally do own Rocket Lab shares. Um, and while, while I am below my purchase price as far as you know the buy-in point, I'm not freaking out because to me, this is a great time for me to you know continue to dollar cost average and continue to hold because for me, this is a long-term hold. You know, this is a retirement sort of hold. So for me, I'm not concerned. But again, this all depends on what your strategy is, where you are in your life, and how diversified you are, and what your goals are. So keep that in mind. Without further ado, let's go look at the stock price. This is the line of support that I had mentioned that we had held all year long from January on. 
As you can see in this area, this is where we kind of got excited. We thought we were going to break this huge downtrend that we had going on. Instead, we, we failed to, to break that. We went back down in here and we held this little wedge area for a while. And then we just kind of, well, we just kind of, yeah, we, we dropped the catch. <laughs> so I thought we were going to catch it back here. And, you know, I guess, you know, we just had a drop like that helicopter. Uh, but that's okay because, um, you know, eventually what goes down must go back up, right? Hopefully. So right now we are sitting at a close of $6.52 a share. Um, the latest volume was around $3 million. As you can see here, there was a lot of selling pressure around this time. So we did take a, a mighty fall. The thing is, is that we really haven't formed... Um, a support yet so I'm not sure how far we're gonna fall because we've never really fallen this far yet so hopefully the drop won't be too heavy hopefully we will find our footing and and bounce back up but um, I don't I'm not really expecting much until the lunar mission at the end of this month unless rocket lab releases some more positive news we might be staying anywhere between this area and lower so keep that in mind right now we have to find our footing we don't know where this falling knife is going to go just yet however you know i i do be optimistic and i do think that you know by the end of the month we should see a little bit of a reversal but as of now we are gonna have to be watching this between you know today rocket lab saturday and the upcoming rocket lab saturday to try to get an idea on if it's going to form a base for us or if it's just going to keep trickling down with the rest of the market the way it's going we will have to see so right now we are in uncharted waters we don't know i'm keeping it real i'm not going to say that this is just going to go to the moon just yet it takes time to get to the moon right so keep that in mind uh, I, I don't necessarily recommend selling. We are the lowest we've ever been. Might be a good idea to just hold your chips and keep them close and, you know, wait a couple trading days, see where this is going to be headed. And then, you know, if you want to start accumulating more, it's up to you. But my personal strategy right now, I'm going to hold. I'm going to wait to see where this is going, how far it's going to drop and when it's going to form a, a ledge. And we will see from there. So as of right now, my recommendation is to hold unless, of course, you are really, really trying to dollar cost average. It has fallen. But like I said, I recommend hold because unfortunately it could fall more. We just don't have enough information yet with this chart. So we'll have to see. So until next Rocket Lab Saturday, my strategy is hold. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter under the handle StockTrekGirl, where you can interact with me as well as other Rocket Lab and Space Stock fans. Well, that's all for this Rocket Lab Saturday, and be sure to tune in next Saturday for another Rocket Lab Saturday. And I'm sure we will have more exciting news that has come out from Rocket Lab that we are going to discuss. So until then, don't freak out with the market dropping and invest long and prosper. I'll see you next time.